Well, he can certainly get past the blue, and he's not touching the black, so this yellow is potable. Yellow and green required, but remember the green does not pass the black. Mm, where's the cue ball going? Ooh, well. Obviously an element of good fortune in that because he played the pot on the yellow. And if he'd have got the pot, the cue ball wouldn't have finished there. smiles but he'll appreciate that escape from Mark Selby lucky to have the snooker but boy after an escape like that you deserve a bit of luck <laughs> there's been some run of the ball and it's to and fro in this frame there's been it? three ha hands up from each player saying I'm sorry I'm sorry three times from each and this looking at it John he can't get to the, any of the top cushions to play I think this is uh, almost unhittable this yellow He'll have to play twice across somehow. What a tremendous escape that was. It really was. Mm. Well, the thing is, coming round, as you see, there won't be a lot of pace left on this cue ball. It's a great effort. Well, we've seen two escapes there, the shot of the championships, both of them. Absolutely fabulous. Mark Sarby looked up to him in the box. How on earth has he hit that, he said. But he has left a chance now for Mark Sarby to pinch the frame with the clearance. If this yellow goes in, he's got every chance of doing just that. It really would. He needs the five remaining colours. Fight. Now imperative in potting this brown. He leaves a nice angle on the blue to drop on what you can only describe as an awkward pink. But it's made easier by the fact that the, the black is adjacent to that far right corner. Yes, he won't be worried, John, would he, of leaving the white. As long as it comes two or three inches off the cushion in pot in the pink, all he doesn't want to do is finish straight on the pink in a couple of shots' time, because then he'll be near the cushion and that makes the black a lot more difficult. So these next two shots are key. Brown to blue, blue to pink, with an angle just to come a little bit off the cushion. Nine. Didn't hear that well. Has he got any kind of angle on the blue? Oof. He'll have to make it. He's digging down to squeeze this blue in. Tough shot. Jumped out of the pocket. The blue jumped out of the pocket. Mark Selby. Nine. Now, the only reason that can happen, and you see the puzzled look on Marco's face, is that striking down, the cue ball was bouncing. And when it hit the blue, it was cu just coming down, caused the blue to bounce and not hit the back of the pocket properly. See how they're the all bouncing? What an amazing slow mo that was, John. Unbelievable. Well, this frame's had more twists and tails than a, a good novel. 
just about got it safe. That wasn't one of Marco's best. Remember, Marco Fu just looking for the blue. Mark Selby, the three remaining colours. He's had his chance. OK, you wouldn't expect the blue to jump out of the middle, but he didn't play the brown very well for position. Johnny's looking at the double. He's going to play the double, hold the white tight on the cushion. Well, I suppose it's worth risking. Mm, always thinking that if you got close to the double and it rattled the jaws, it would go safe and it's gone very safe. Short. Now it's not straightforward, obviously the blue is possible, but can he hold for the pink? You've got to really cue this well. I don't think he'd play the delicate drag shot. He wouldn't want to risk that. But it would be a good shot to hold for the pink. Always difficult, those shots. Trying to pinch a bit of the pocket. Just couldn't hold for the pink, and as I say, just trying to pinch a bit. Mm, this needs to slow down, this blue. Well, that's poor from Marco. He's left Mark a chance here. And this time, if you pots the blue, it's a natural angle to come down off the bolt cushion to this top cushion and be on the pink. Oh, well, so close. On the pink, but the blue didn't go in. And this time, hardly any chance of getting onto the pink for Marco because he'd probably have to play up and down. Yeah, but he only needs the blue to go 17 points in front with 13 remaining. It's there. Where's the cue ball going? Ooh. Five. He just looked up at the scoreboard, calm, cool and collected. I bet he wasn't that a few seconds ago when that cue ball was heading for the pocket. So just roll this pink in or over, 17 points to the lead. If it goes in, all well and good. And it has. So what a remarkable frame that was. It got to its 38th minute. It was intrigue, good luck, bad luck. But in the end, Marco threw won it and now closes to just one frame. Mark Selby leads 3-2.